G'day everyone, today we're going to be going through a glass parametric dome and we're going to do a render through V-Ray as well. So we're going to start off with just a simple plane. Um, we're going to create a big large one. Um, make that white so it makes it easier for us to see. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to click on the geosphere. Uh, if you haven't already, click it over to Tetra. Um, and hemisphere. We only we only want half of it. So we're gonna make a nice big dome there. Uh, we're gonna go into the modify list. We're gonna do a quick edit uh, poly. We're gonna click on this polygon tool. What, what that's gonna allow us to do is select um, these under faces. Um, and we're gonna get rid of these because we won't these at all. So we click delete. Um, what we're going to do as well, we're going to try and find the middle of this kind of, uh, this first kind of uh, lining. And we're going to choose a couple of these to create some sort of entrance. We're going to do a delete on that one. And we will click off that. And what we're going to do, we're going to create a clone. A little copy because we don't we don't want the, um, the physical attributes to kind of keep carrying through. If we create a copy there, on this one we're going to do a lattice modifier. Um, as you can see, it's a bit a bit full on at the moment, so we're going to make those joints a lot smaller and as well as the struts. We'll do that to about for that. What we're going to do, we're going to change the color of that to black um, as like a kind of a solid framing. Um, and as we go here, we're going to click on that inner, inner kind of uh, space. Uh, actually, before we do that, we're going to come up onto this V-Ray kind of tool tab here. Yours might be docked up um, in this top uh, kind of section here, but mine is uh, kind of pop out, we're going to create a V-Ray line. What we're going to do is going to pull this one up and by using E, it gives you the rotate option. You can rotate that towards uh, our object. And we'll pull it a bit further back so it gives us some shading. Now we have our kind of main structure, what we're going to do, we're going to go into our material editor. Uh, if your material editor doesn't pop up exactly like this, uh, you will probably be shown with a different method uh, like this. And to easily change over, you go into the compact material editor. And what we're going to do, we're going to apply that kind of background, it gives us, and if you double click on it, uh, it gives us a little pop out so you can see the material a bit better. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to change the physical material to a V-Ray MTL. Uh, that just helps us render better um, in, when using V-Ray. So now we go into this kind of uh, diffuse box here. We're going to just pull it up just before pitch black. So on a value of about 2. Um, you can see it's kind of got like a matte uh, kind of texture to it. What we're going to do, we're going to pull this right down to white and same as the refract. Okay, so now we've got a really kind of refractive uh, material there. And if you want to make sure that it is uh, that kind of reflective, uh, you can click this background thing, you can see um, uh, what, what would be behind it. Um, and because glass isn't 100% clear, we we'll do a 0.9 glossiness. Um, so we have our material there. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to apply it to that inner shell, not the lattice uh, material. And we're going to assign the material. What we're going to do here is we're going to close our material editor. Um, we will get it into a position that we like it and we're going to click this render current frame and as you can see here it'll take a bit of time to render um, and I will be back with you shortly 
Okay, now that we have our fully rendered image, uh, we can save that image wherever we like. If we go into File and reload it all, we go File, Save Image Channels to Separate Files, we just name it. Parametric Glass Done. That will then save. Uh, and if you save it as a PNG, uh, that will save. And yes, OK. And now that's saved. Um, if we go into our glass uh, final area, we now have our final image. Thank you for listening.